Welcome back. I work on some strange stuff at work and occasionally some of this strange stuff follows me home. A friend of mine has a chemical sprayer that's used on an estate that needed some attention. Just basic tune-up work, I was told. It runs. Well, when it arrived at my house, it was not running. They couldn't figure out why. I started straightening out some minor electrical issues with the wiring, which was all butchered up. Got that straightened out and then realized um, I'm not getting any spark. It's not firing over. So I pulled off one of the spark plug wires and it came off in my hand, chewed through by mice. Mice got underneath the shroud of this engine and <laughs> ate through the wires. So now I have all these chewed up wires to mess around with and splice together. They, that's the kill line over there to kill the, uh, to kill the spark. They chewed it up, gone. It's got twin cylinders. There's the other spark plug lead. Where did it go? It's uh, turned into a big mess. So two new ignition coils, repair some wiring, and everybody out there should get themselves a cat. Cats are the best. They'll alleviate your mouse problems by uh, keeping them away from your equipment when it's stored. Get a cat. Okay, we did a quick repair on our wiring, spliced in some new sections and just taped off some of the bad stuff here now. And I wanna see if this thing actually still makes sparks. So I'll try not to get zapped. I'll hold that on the end there. Give it a little crank. Yes, I feel it. All right, that one's good. And I have a feeling that this one is not good. Nothing. I think that one was bad. How long did that cylinder not have spark? I have no idea. So we're going to run a quick compression test on this and see what it has. Let's see. Some throttle here. Wow. 200. That's good. And 175. All right. It is what it is. It should still run though. Okay, we're going to pull the coils off. There are 5 16 bolts. I already sprayed these down the other day, so hopefully they will not uh, be rusted in too badly. Now, oh, I cheated here if you want to know. The shroud on this engine. To get it off, I would actually have to pull the engine out of this machine or disassemble the drive and these parts here will not move. So I cut it in half. The bolt will still hold the bottom half on, the top will hold the other one, and then we will put in a little plate with some screws to hold it together. Saves hours and hours and hours of work on something that I'm not even sure if it's going to work. So. That's what we did. And these bolts, <laughs> they're moving, but hopefully they'll come out. There we go. That's good. I hate mice. That bolt may be stuck. Mouse chewed. The core of this wire is not metal, it's a fiber core, so they were able to eat through it very easily. I hope it gave them indigestion. Come on. Oh 
Okay, our new coils arrived in the mail. And we got nice new spark plug leads. This one faces this way with the wire down and the other one is flipped the opposite way with the wire on the inside facing more to the outside of the engine. That's the way they were on here. That's the way we're putting the new ones on. Get the bolts in relatively snug and then we will uh, set the air gap on these. I measured it before I pulled these off. They were around six thousandths, but they're a little dirty. So we'll probably set these at eight thousandths of an inch. That should be uh, good. Let's get our bolts in here first. I put a little bit of oil on the threads so they will go back in a little bit easier. We're going to pull it up as far away as we can get it right now and then snug it down before we set the air gap. And of course that's going to give us some difficulty. Ah, the wonders of aftermarket parts. Okay, this coil on that side of the motor I had to flip it around because it couldn't hook up the kill switch wire to it where it was. So we'll see if it makes a difference. Hopefully it doesn't. I got the feeler gauge jammed in there. We are going to back off on these bolts now. And we got the magnet positioned underneath so it'll suck it in place. And that will set our air gap. down, tighten it up, and we should be good. Pull the gauge out. I said I said at eight thousandths it should work. Nothing touching. In the fire. We'll get our plugs in here and see if we got a spark now. Okay, our wires are out of the way. Our plugs are back in here. Let's we'll see if we get some spark now. Yes, awesome. Now let's see if this thing will run. Okay, let's see what we got. together our uh, shroud. The way I cut the shroud, the bolt is still holding on the bottom half and the top half is holding all the rest of it together. So we just ran a bead of silicone in between the little gap. This way if you ever got to take it apart again, just cut it and you have easy access without having to pull the engine out. Now I got a whole bunch of other things to finally fix on this. Thanks for watching. You're keeping our shop mouse free, right? No mice allowed. Well, it's 
taking a leak on my lawn.